guys. Okay, so this is a DIY for decorating your hamster cage, and it's also DIY and not DIY at the same time. Okay, so they're actually pretty easy. Ow. Okay, so the first one is the DIY. It's this. This might look like it was so hard to make, but it wasn't. It only took me one minute. Like one minute or a few seconds. All you do, I'm not a good artist, so you guys. So you draw this. I'm just gonna outline it. I drew it, but I tried once. Oops. Okay, I must see up my paper. That's great. You know what? I'm just gonna try my own. So. Okay, so I'm getting a pretty good bubble. And I'm gonna write clean color on it. Now, here's my circle. You know, it's all messed up, okay. Okay. Alright, so I'm just gonna draw my huge circle. That and that. This one turned out really bad, so. Whatever. Here's my circle. Cut it out. You got a highlighter. Shave it. And you pretty much get this. Okay, it's the next thing. The next thing, all you're gonna need is one thing. An expo marker. I would never recommend this for wooden cages. Not wooden cages, I mean um wire cages. So what you do with this, I'm just gonna do it right now. Just get it over with. Okay. You can write on there whatever you want and erase it whenever you want. This could work for glass cages, like tanks. So you just write it right there. And if it hardens and it's really hard, rub really hard. Or if you have the remover and the eraser, just go like that. And it'll come off. Right there I did it on the side. Peach's cage. Love you, bae. Love you, boo, bae. Boo, bae. Oh, love you, lovely. Okay. Beautiful heart, ecto, ecto, Beth. Because I love Beth and Yamoto, and who doesn't. The next thing I have in mind is totally, like, just, oh, wait, did I say all of those? No, I didn't. Duct tape. You could go around your cage with some really nice duct tape, like I did, right there. And it looks really cute and nice. So, you just decorate it the way you want. And that's a really good idea. Um, or what you could do is you could use Sharpie. And if you want to Sharpie off, which I guess you will want. You know how everybody says, Sharpie is permanent, you can't get off? Gonna write something with my Sharpie. So I wrote with my Sharpie, you really can see it. No, but yes, you can. Okay, so you're just gonna get an expo. Take the lid off, of course, and go over it. Try to go over it as much, or just scribble over it. It doesn't really matter. I'm just gonna scribble over it because it's easier for me and it's way faster. So I pretty much scribbled all over it. That's all over. That's what all over looks like. And you're just gonna wipe it off. And look, there is nothing there. No paint. And to prove that it was Sharpies, let me just take the cap off. Here's my Sharpie. There you could see it better than right here. So the two different 
Okay. Okay. And I'm just gonna do the same thing. Go over here. What that is? Scribble, 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 scribble. As a scribble as much as possible to get it off. This is wasting more ink, just so like you know. But yeah, always. Let me erase it. It's faster. And voila, it's off. Nothing there. So, Sharpie isn't, uh, what do you call it, permanent. So yeah, this is the DIY I was talking about. Thanks for watching, and bye-bye. Tune in next time with me. Bye.